Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, in today's short video, what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the last two demos that we basically played. We were utilizing the Square Golf Launch Monitor and using its Square software uh, to basically play through some course play. Uh, we basically play the same course from both my PC version of the software and then also my regular 9th gen iPad version. And so we're going to side-by-side -side those for you. Uh, we'll run through all the clips. I, I think between the three holes, I tried to get, you know, basically shots from the tee, from the approach, and then also maybe at least a, at least one putt uh, from the green because I kind of played a little bit differently between those two demos. Uh, one was a little bit longer just because there was more shots. I didn't play as well uh, in the iPad version as I did the PC version. So I'm not going to show you all the shots from those demos. We're just trying to make more of a direct comparison and just show you some uh, comparative uh, views and, and shots. All right, so real quick, we're going to launch basically the side-by-side -side clips. Uh, it's about two minutes long, and then we'll come back and kind of just I'll share with you some of my observations between the two different softwares. All right, so as we can see there, um, basically I don't feel like there's a ton of difference uh, in the software between running it on PC and then running it from just a regular iPad. I think you kind of will notice a little bit of difference. The greens look a little different. Um, on the PC version, they look a little darker to me. Uh, also, it looks like you get a little bit more detail maybe in the grain and, and in the green. And then um, and then I kind of noticed some like maybe of the, like the trees and some of the other things like, seem to have just a little bit more detail. Uh, one thing I did notice, though, when I was playing back through the videos uh, and, and putting this video together is on the PC version, when you make the ball in the hole, it kind of automatically gives you an automatic replay of the last shot. Overall, I'd say from my experience of playing the two, um, the 9th Gen iPad is, I mean, it's just a regular iPad device. It's not a Pro. It's not an Air. So, I mean, it doesn't have the, the compute power or the graphical power that maybe an advanced uh, iPad device would have. Um, you might get a little bit different experience on one of those devices. I'm not quite sure. I will say that when I was playing through everything, the PC did seem to, you know, respond a little bit quicker. Um, the way I cut these clips and stuff together, I tried to time it up to where you kind of saw the same view. Um, but just in going back through like the demos and stuff, you could obviously tell it seemed like the the PC definitely handled um, the the software and and was a little bit speedier uh, transitioning through things. All right, so that's going to kind of do it for our little quick video today. Um, you guys, let me know down in the comments what you kind of thought, if you could really tell any difference between the PC and iPad version. You know, let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see with the Square Golf Launch Monitor. We're going to continue to do some videos uh, upcoming. Uh, this is kind of like the 
uh, Players Championship week. So I, I'm I'm possibly going to try to, if I can fit it into my schedule, try to play the three rounds of the Players Championship um, on the Square Golf device, and I'll I'll try to get those uploaded to the channel um, as soon as I can if I can get to that. But yeah, but definitely. If there's anything else that you would like to see uh, with this device, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. Uh, if you do like this kind of content and like the video, make sure to give the video a like. Help us out on YouTube. Uh, also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, you know, don't want to miss those notifications when we do drop those new videos. Uh, make sure to do that. Help us out that way. If you are subscribed, you know, appreciate the support. Yeah, and that's going to kind of conclude it for today. Thank you all again for watching the video. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one.